Hey there friends, Kathy here at Spicy Cat Gems. This is turning into be a recurring unboxing because I love it. I almost wish they let you sign up for um, just a recurring subscription, but they don't. So um, if you saw the thumbnail, this is the Marker Universe June Blind Box. I think I have all of that right. Um, I was like, what's going on? This box, normally it's like half the size because it's usually, it's an art marker pen subscription. Oh yeah, I'm Kathy, you're at Spicy Cat Jams. Um, if you're a new friend, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I just hiccuped. But if you're a new friend and wanna subscribe, comment, like, all that jazz, you know how YouTube works. I would love to have you stick around. If you are a seasoned friend, I'm gonna try and be short and just get this through. So this is a subscription that comes through MarkerUniverse.com and they carry a bunch of different um, gel pens, paint pens, metallics, I mean a lot of different brands that are not always available in the United States and they do this blind box and you don't know what you're getting. It costs, and I'm sorry if I have this wrong, I think it's like $32. You do have to pay shipping. It usually comes right around $38. And they send it to you, and you have no idea what they're sending you. Usually the colors are somewhat coordinated because they want you to um, create projects. So I do, um, I've got a couple other of these I've posted out here. Um, and I'll link in my playlist to my unboxings. Uh, I did, I'm doing this one a little bit different. So normally if it's like a blind box, I like to be surprised when I look at it, but it's just too hard because I, okay, yes, I'm filming in my minivan. And if you're new, your friend, you're wondering why is she doing an unboxing in her minivan? Well, because I have seven cats in my house and it is near, virtually impossible to get through a complete video without being interrupted. I mean, all of my friends with children think that it's bad seven cats which include a new kitten ages six weeks to 15 plus years are my cats anyway so i already unboxed and i actually did some like um tests so i can show you how they look so it comes in these boxes with this whoa <laughs> sticker on it and like i said this one was bigger um when you open it it's all wrapped in tissue paper i've unwrapped everything there are usually, there's not like, the only thing that would make it better is if they gave you like a menu card or, you know, like a listing of what it is and the prices. I did look up and try to find like the prices if they sold these on their website, but not everything was on their website. There are usually these little inserts. This is like a sticker. This is one of the brands. Here's another. This is the um, website where they are purchased. They, um... So if you're interested in this, okay, first of all, you can go there and shop. Also tip, look for, oh, no, there's sometimes coupon codes, pretty rare, but sign up for their emails. They do not spam you with a ton of emails, but they will let you know when the next blind box is going to go on sale, which is usually the last four to five days of the month. And then they will ship the beginning of the next month. So that's how I find out about it is when I get the email. So those were two, and then this is, depending what it is, um, like this one's an insert, and this is one of the brands, how to store and use. So I will just set those aside. And then this is their little insert where they talk about the June's blind box. And um, not so much a contest, but you can like create something and then print it. I have no idea, is this gonna be backwards? I just thought about that, sorry. So why the box was bigger this month is they sent us, which is pretty fun, it is this pack of, I'm thinking it must be A2 size paper, of Express Black Paper Heavyweight 25 Sheets, Acid Free, blah blah blah, Smooth Surface. So I assumed that, oh, they must, um, the products must work well and show up on black. So I did use one of my pieces of paper and not all of them showed up and I did um, swatches, I guess, of each one. So I will show you what they look like as we go through them. So this paper is very smooth. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else about it. 
I guess I, I haven't used black a lot. I let it do a lot of rubber stamping and coloring, but I don't use black. They do have a, a promo it here. It says here, if you go to express it .us, express it here, dot us and shop, there is a um, code you can get 25% off your order. So if you see that and want to go check that out, I will try to remember to add that in the description. Okay, so let's get into the product. So that was the first product and I have no idea how much that's worth. I have found that the values, it's not like it's a huge savings as far as a subscription box or a mystery box. It is a little bit less than if you bought them all individually. It's kind of more just to try new products, different products maybe than what you're used to. Um, for all ranges of artists. So the first two items, which I love this brand, is the Jelly Roll brand. They are from Sakura from Japan. These are eight millimeters and we got an orange and a brown. And here is what they look like. So those sell on the website for $1.94. And they are just your basic gel pen. They're not glittery or anything. They write super smooth a jelly roll. I love especially their white one to do accents. Um, and I've never had a problem with them like, you know, like blopping or, oh, sorry. You know, sometimes they'll like drip or just kind of be yucky. Unfortunately, I thought, oh, they'll work on the black. Um, not really. You, I guess you can see them. You can see the orange and the brown. Barely. But that's what they look like on the black. The next two, I'm going to just set these in the cup holder, are... Now this one they do sell, but they were sold out, so I could not find what the price was. This, I think, was also under from Sakura, and it is the Koi coloring brush pen it's water-based and it is just your typical brush tip you can see there um it's not well i'll show you yeah i guess it is kind of that neat neon-y so here is how that looked on the on white cardstock and it did not show up on the black kind of I mean even less than the brown which it's a water base I'm sure the ink just absorbed in there so it'd be kind of hard to get a good I don't know anyway this brand is from called Karen and these are their deco brush metallic permanent markers I have received this brand and the, in metallics in neons in just regular solid colors in these boxes and I absolutely love them, especially the metallics. We got metallic green and metallic blue. These are also a, um, you're supposed to store horizontally, shake before use. These are water-based and it's a flexible brush tip. So you can see, real nice size, a nice size nib brush. And let me show you me, me my swatches. I've been working all night. And these would sell for $3.51 each. So the green is, I mean, it says it's metallic green. And the blue is almost, to me, it's more of like a, not aquamarine, but more that type of a watery type of, of blue. And the green, it's almost like a metallic mint, I would say. Not sure. It's on the white, but those, wait till you see them on the black. Oh my gosh, these pop so well on the black cardstock. Look at that. Now you can kind of see the color more. So it's not like your navy type blue. It's a different. So we got those two. And um, there's four more. I was excited because every other box has sent either a single or a set of mechanic pencils which if you're an artist and you like to sketch with pencil first I can see using that but um I don't I mean I'll just use it as a pencil so we did not get a pencil this time so the next one we received though is a permanent paint marker it is from the crink crink brand 
and these don't have a color listed on them. If you look on the website, they have a bunch of different colors, and I assume this is pink. It's kind of your basic bullet tip that you have to like push down to get um, the ink flowing. It does have kind of a strong smell when I was using it for, you know, using it for a bit. Definitely paint. And um, they are $7.47 each. So here is what the crink, crink pink looks like on white cardstock. And I was so excited. I thought this is going to rock on the um, black. I don't know if it's just the paper. So here's what I did. This is just using it once. It's like, I think the ink like soaked right in. So that's once this, I like waited till it dried and I went over it. Like it was the third time. So it's really not solid. It's really kind of splotchy. Um, so I don't think the black is actually a good choice for it. Okay. Here is another one of the favorites that I was excited. Um, so here, this is from Zig. It is the, how do you say it? Ac Acrylista? Acrylista? It's a paint pen. Now, they have a bunch of different paint pens with different... I had never realized. I was used to more like the crank one with that bullet tip. This is a 0.5 millimeter extra fine tip. Oh, I just splashed paint on my black pants. Okay, now it's, you're not my favorite. Come on focus. I'll get my head out of the way. Look how fine that is. So that is super cool, except you have to like prime it, you know, do the push down. And it did, I mean, I'm pretty careful with this, gopped all over. I still have it on my hands. And like I said, I just opened it and it like splashed out a little bit. But that being said, I do love, and these would retail for $3.49, how it wrote. Like I said, usually when I have a paint pen, there you can see the, the metallic, it is more like this thick. You never have had a fine one where you can actually write with it. And then check it out on the black. It's also, I mean, it looks really good on the black for writing. So I love how it performed other than huge blopping. And I will show you what I mean by blopping. So these last two, I did not put on the black because they did not work. I tried them. So the first one is a, um, we did get, and we usually get like a fine liner. And this one is Windsor and Newton. I could not find this on their website. So I have no idea what the cost is. It is just your basic, um, black fine liner. It doesn't even tell me, oh, it's 0 0.8, 0 0.8 millimeters. So it's just, you know, I have no idea how long these would last as the fine liner. And it looks like this. I mean, just your basic fine liner. I, like I said, I couldn't find a price on it. And the last one I had not tried. They have a lot of alcohol based markers which are awesome if you like to color because you can blend your colors um they do have a, a scent but i had not they have this brand out there it's cure take cure color but they had like smaller finers through zig so i couldn't find a price on this either it is here it's kind of like how the copics are i guess because i have a bunch of copics so they have that cobalt blue on the end and you have two tips one side is your broad chisel tip right there and you always want to make sure you have this secure um, and then here is your fine tip so um, like the Copics have a brush tip instead of like that fine writing tip but then here is the color on the white down there. So this is, I use the fine tip to write, and then I just use the chisel to like try and make some things. So there you go. You can kind of see all of the markers that I got. I did not like total up to see what we got two, four, 
10, 11, 12. So $22 if I had bought these for the ones I knew prices. That doesn't include the Koi or the fine liner or this. So price wise. And then here's what I did with the ones that worked. I kind of just did some quick doodles on here. This pink butterfly, again, I like had to do it like four times to get that much pink. But I love the silver. I love those two Karen metallics. This is the orange um, jelly roll. Yeah, didn't really work. This is that crink again. And then here is the metallic blue and the green. And then I used the silver just to do some little, I outlined the flowers and the butterfly. And then, because I thought this would be fun, I took all the colors and I just have a bunch of little like coloring things to put on cards. So this is what the colors look like all together. So they do actually coordinate. It's pretty fun. You know, I wouldn't think to put the orange and the pink together, but I like them. So I kind of did... Um, just colored in the bricks and then I used the fine liner because here remember when I talked about the paint the paint one was splooching look serious splooch and it was like a giant bubble so I had to just take a tissue and blot it down so now I'm saying okay well this is where the mason had a little issue with the mortar and you know he didn't get it cleaned up before it dried and then what I wanted to show you on the bottom here I took the two the alcohol-based blue one and then the koi water-based and I just colored it to show you that a lot of times you can layer. So can you see right above the U there? That's using that orange jelly roll. And then I use the silver to go over and just kind of go through the words. And I did use the black. So what I did after I was done coloring, I took my fine liner and this is what I do when I color in my adult coloring books or anything I'm going to craft on. Um, especially the metallics were very hard to keep in the line. So I just took the fine liner and I basically redrew all the black lines. Now I wasn't going to, I was just going to do the ones like where I had to, but then I realized I forgot to like grab a ruler. So they were not straight and the rest were. So I thought, well, we're just going to do them all and um, let it be a little more hand-drawn feel. Okay. Phew, I got through them all and it's still 20 minutes long, but that's because I did it different. I wanted to show you how they looked, how they performed, um, just because I find that helpful. So now I'm going to put everything back in my box and I'm going to go home. But I will probably keep getting these. I have taken the markers and pens that I've received and I've added them, um, I have a couple places where I do adult coloring or I ha this is what I've been doing to de-stress in this crazy times we're in right now as I do a lot of adult coloring and I've um, started working a lot of those in and I'm really enjoying playing with them and the effects. I love all the metallics. We haven't received like any glitter pens that I can think of, which are big like in adult coloring um, glitter gel pens. But those metallics are awesome and like I said, I'm really enjoying trying the different water-based and um, alcohol-based. But if you're interested, I'll have the link down below to Marker Universe. Um, as I suggested, please just sign up to get their um, emails. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. If you purchase, it's no, I, no idea, nothing with me. If you are super talented... Even if you're not, I should say I could submit my little coloring thing to them to show them what I did with it. And maybe I will because there are some, oh my gosh, so talented artists that post their work out there, which intimidates me. And the thing with art is it's meant to be for everybody and it doesn't, whatever the skill level is, all art is beautiful and it's subjective. So I think I am going to send them the picture that I colored just, I mean, I don't know if they're going to post it on their website, but just, I think I'll, on their Facebook, I think I can upload it so then people would see it. Just because I want people to know, don't be intimidated just because you think, oh my gosh, this person like could have a professional job being a uh, artist, a manga artist or a cartoonist or just fine art. Um, but the same tools, what's I have learned are the same tools that our fine artists use, anybody can use. Hello. 
and I am not a snob. I have Crayola <laughs> markers, crayons, pencils to high-end stuff that I buy and they all work. So, okay, going to get out of here. Let me know if any of you have purchased this box. Um, some of you have said, oh, that looks like one I love. Um, the whole trick, though, is you got to know when it goes on up for sale, and they usually sell out for sure within two days. They only do a limited number. So sign up for their emails, and then you'll find out. And then we can compare and show what we've created. But take care, my dear friends. Please remember fine artists to novice artists, everything in between. You are beautiful and you matter. You make this world beautiful. Don't ever forget it. I'll see you soon.